Hey there, this is Adam Lane from Pocketnow.com, and Microsoft just released two new apps for the Xbox Music Service, one for Android and one for iOS. In this video, we're going to take a look at how they work and how they compare to Windows Phone 8 and Windows 8 on a tablet. Let's check it out. First, let's look at the Android and iOS apps. Both of these are practically identical to each other. You start off, uh, first you got to log in with your Microsoft ID and it has to have an Xbox Music Pass subscription and then it'll load all of your playlists that are synced from the Xbox Music Cloud collection. So here's the playlist uh, section. You can create a new one like so with that plus button. And over here we both, both of them have a little menu. And that's about it. There's playlists, there's collection, there's settings. So collection is just going to be artists, albums, songs, and genres. This one doesn't swipe. And then there's settings. And it's not very comprehensive. You can sign out, you can turn on or off cellular data. So if you don't want to use your uh, data connection, you can just use Wi-Fi and you can manually sync. So the only other option here is uh, search. So here we can find just about anything, even if it is not in your cloud collection. And then you can drill down and find the albums by that artist. You can sort by the songs and you can see the bio. Now on Windows Phone, Xbox Music is completely different. We actually have a store where you can select uh, music and it loads. And then you can either download it to uh, your device for offline listening or you can purchase it as well. So there's a buy option, there's pin to start, there's add to now playing. And we also have the smart DJ button, which is great for creating kind of Pandora style mixes. And on Windows Phone, we also have uh, listings of new releases, top songs, top albums, as well as top mixtapes. These are custom playlists. And here's the Music and Videos Hub, which is kind of part of Xbox Music. So we have our collection, and this is also loading the cloud collection. You can see down here, we can turn that on or off, cloud collection. Overall, the Xbox Music support on Windows Phone 8 is just much more comprehensive than on Android and iOS. Now on your Windows 8 tablet, there's also an Xbox Music app. And again, it's completely different from Windows Phone 8 as well as Android and iOS. So here we see my collection. Uh, most of these are in the cloud. You can sort them this way on the PC in the cloud and you got artists, songs, etc. But we also have a radio button and this is loading a smart DJ playlist that I created either from the Xbox or from Windows 8. So it remembers the ones that I've, I've used before and you can create a new one this way. You gotta type in an artist there's also an explore section, which is nice. We have new albums. It's listing there. And you can choose to play it right away. There's also the download button. And we also have the buy album option or the uh, smart DJ start radio button. Let's do explore artists. And you can see uh, what albums I have in my collection as well as other albums available. And down here we see our playlists. These are all synced from the cloud collection. They were created either in uh, Windows Media Player from a long time ago and then imported into Windows 8. And we can create a new playlist that way. And of course there's search. So 
So you can still search for anything and stream it or download it on Windows 8. And when you're listening to music, you can get this nice uh, screensaver-like view of the music with uh, some cool artwork. So there you have a quick comparison with Xbox Music on Android and iOS with Windows Phone 8 and Windows 8 tablets. Obviously, uh, Microsoft's support for Windows 8 and Windows Phone 8 is a little more advanced. But at least now you can use Xbox Music on Android and iOS devices as well. That's it for now. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.